the cheapest coins on the web, go and check out igsky.com. Their link will be down in the description and use code CAPGUN for a discount at checkout. You're right guys, it's Capcom Tom here and welcome to episode number 38 of Building Buyer. Now we're going to kick this episode off by going into our trade pile. As you can see, we've managed to sell everything but one item. Once that one item sells, we should be looking at about 147,000 coins in total, which is not too bad at all. And as you can see, the best deal from this trading session was the Inform camera. That we picked up for 27, sold on for 34. We're talking like 5, 6k profit after tax on that card alone. So very happy. Now if you guys want another episode of Building Buy and tomorrow, smash the like button I am going to be making a signing in this episode and if you get this video to 2,000 likes I will upload another episode of Building Bayern for your viewing pleasures you know you want it smash that like button now anyway we're going to dive into online seasons as we always do and uh, we're going to hopefully get some results we want to get some uh, wins under our belt our current record is 2-0 and 2 after actually coming back and playing a lot better in the last episode after, than the episode before um, we still need to keep our foot on the gas and make sure we get some more wins under our belt now our first opponent has a very expensive French team Benzema inform Lacazette he's got Pogba he's got um, the likes of Ribéry he's got a good defence with uh, you know Kishelny. And in the eighth minute, we got disconnected. I have no idea why. The servers have been buggy for me for like the last couple of days. EA, I really do want to see them make some improvements on that front because they just don't seem to care. Every year they release the same game with the same bugs and they just do nothing about it. It's so frustrating. We get the DNF, which we really shouldn't have been because I was actually online at the time. Nothing else got knocked offline. You know, I was still listening to my music. I was still on Skype, etc. It was literally just FIFA. So, you know, it's the servers when that happens. And uh, yeah, very, very frustrating. Now, you may be wondering why we've been thrown into a game that we're currently in and uh, winning 3-2. The reason for that is I finally got onto the servers after a couple of days and uh, I started playing a game. I was in the uh, online season match and somehow my computer decided that it was going to just start randomly updating itself halfway through the game. So unfortunately it switched itself off without me knowing. I didn't get to stop my capture device, so we lost the first half of this game. But fortunately for me, I did manage to get it back on and we didn't lose any more than just half a game. You saw the final game goal there from Shakiri, really nice finish. And Gertz actually managed to get him himself a hat-trick in that game as well. So good stuff from him. We end up winning 4-2, so we do get that victory. Our record is now 3-0-3 because of that disconnect in the last game. And we can now head back into the... The arena and make the thing that you guys have all been waiting for it's time to make a signing yes two weeks after the last signing it is time and it is going to be Alaba as you can see 54,500 coins this one was literally just listed seconds before I searched for it and we do buy it it's brand new it's fresh and it is going to finally complete our team and we're going to have a full gold squad yeah I know absolutely ages into this series and we finally get a full gold team he goes into that left back spot for Burnout who to be fair has been absolutely fantastic for us but it's time to put Alaba in there and I'm sure he's going to do a much much better job and make our team a lot stronger especially defensively um, than it was before he gets the check mark on the checklist one whole gold column is complete yes that's what we're talking about and now we only have to start working towards the uh, upper end gold players and also the informed we might mix it up and start signing in forms before gold players, but we'll have to wait and see. Now we've got, I think, four games left in this division. So here we go. We're going to go and try and get some points on the board and uh, hopefully get promoted. So here we go. We're up against our opponent. Unfortunately, we've got Sturridge in the team. And I absolutely hate Sturridge. I imagine most of you do hate playing against Sturridge as well because not only is he an amazing dribbler, but he also has a really good shot on him. And as you saw there, it doesn't help when your two defenders decide that they're going to pull some Teletubby manoeuvres and start doing the sort of thing where they jump into the air and uh, bump their tummies together to take each other out. Now, we did mount an offensive and come back into this game, actually levelling it up. First goal was with, uh, I think it was Thiago. Second goal was was with Goetze. Really nice stuff. And then, unfortunately, he brought on Sterling. He had fresh legs. He actually pushed off Bonaccia, which I was really, really surprised about because, you know, Sterling's not a strong player. He crosses it in. There's Sturridge. He heads it in, and it was a goal. Um, really frustrating because I end up losing, and now we've only got three games to get seven points. We need that seven points so we can get promoted. Anyway, let's see if we can manage it. I go straight into another game, just so I can get some, well, a better feel for David Alaba, and you can see here we're going into the game. It is against FC Abdejohn, and uh, he has got a Serie A squad. He's got Jovino in there, he's got Tevez, he's got Cuadrado. He's got a very strong team, let's put it that way. You know, the only places I can see that there's a little bit of weakness is probably left back, and that's Evra. 
Maybe you could look at Mike on and think he wasn't all that weak or all that strong, sorry, and you can maybe exploit him as well. Now, we did throw a ball over the top. We got a penalty because he brought us down. Muller put it away. I was very happy. 1-0, good stuff. And then, unfortunately, just before or just before the end of the game, he managed to get through with um, Quadrado using those skills, and he managed to score. Now, I was given another penalty, really good footwork from Thiago, but the goalkeeper saved it in the 84th minute, and that means that we walk away with a one all draw. Well, that means that we are now safe from relegation, but we will have to win our two remaining games to actually take down promotion. We can't win the title anymore. That's long gone. Anyway, we've done some trading, and this new trading method I've sort of started using is a really good one. I'm not sure if I want to show you guys yet how to do it, because, well, it's working really well for me, and I don't really want to share, because I just want to get some more coins together for building Bayern, especially since there's so many informs getting released at the moment for Bayern Munich, and Team of the Year's just around the corner, so I want to give myself a bit of a head start, but if you guys are really nice to me, and maybe smash loads of likes on this video, and the following videos that come out in the next couple of days, I might show you how I've been doing it, and exactly how I do pick up the bargains, because it has been working really well, especially for informs and stuff like that, and maybe some of the rarer silvers and rarer bronze players. Now, our final, well, our potential final opponent, I decided that I would um, play the game until we finish this division, so we could potentially be in our last game right now, um, is using a full Bundesliga team. We actually took the lead in a really nice fashion. Shakiri over the top ball from uh, Goetze there after his pop, well, his pop through to him and uh, you can see there that Shakiri does finish it off. Now just before half time I managed to give away a penalty, very frustrating, Schweinsteiger steps up and Schweinsteiger finishes it. Usually when you go left and right the people will freak out and just go down the middle, you just catch it um, but not this time. But fortunately for me, we actually managed to score a winner in the 62nd minute. 2-1, Gertz are there going through and managing to finish it well. Don't wear his two centre-backs had gone. They must have gone up to pressure my man who had the ball. And I just slipped it through to him. So we still are within, well, we are in with a shout of winning the division. we just got to win the final game. So fingers crossed we'll come up against a bad team. So here we go. Going into it. Come on EA. Give us an easy opponent. And I was like... Oh my god, my prayers have been answered. Look at this team. We're in Division 4, for God's sake. We come up against a 31 chem bronze and gold mixed team. And I was like, yes! And then I started to panic. I was like, uh-oh, if he quits, I'm going to get that, yeah, well, that glitch with the Division. And you can see here he pauses it in the second minute and quits. And I was like... Brilliant, there's the glitch, we can't get promoted anymore because it thinks that we finished the game when we actually haven't. It will say that we've got one game left, as you will see now, go into the final bit, one game remaining, still says you've held your position and that's it, division over. And that is the second time this series that we have been robbed of potentially getting a, well, a promotion and uh, yeah, it's just getting really frustrating. I mean, this is this glitch has been around since FIFA. I think either it's definitely been around since 14. It might have even been around since FIFA 13. So what the hell EA are you doing not to fix it? I don't know. But anyway, guys, if you have enjoyed the video, make sure you smash the like button, subscribe if you're new, and I will see you all next time.